Yo, what's going on, people? I wanted to shoot another video right quick and um, talk about something that a question that was asked and how to become a freelance web developer. So um, I thought about it for a little bit and I think the quickest way to do that, if I had to go back and I needed to get into um, the web development space as a freelance web developer. I think the quickest way uh, into doing that is to say, is to learn. I would have learned, went back and learned HTML and CSS as, as always and JavaScript, a little bit of JavaScript, and then I would have learned WordPress. And learning those kind of four technologies, HTML, CSS, you got to know to be on the web. You got to know a little bit of JavaScript uh, regardless of what you're doing. And then uh, the last part, learning WordPress, you can get up and going and start going out to small businesses and uh, seeing if they need any web development work. So it's one of the quickest ways to get up and going and be a freelance web developer. Um, I would once I learned those skills in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and a little bit of Word, and a good amount of WordPress, I'd start marketing myself then like crazy. And I'd probably start at small businesses. You know, even if you had to um, go old fashioned and go, you know, knock on doors or pass out flyers or whatever need be um, to start promoting and marketing yourself and seeing if some of these companies need web development work. A lot of times the small mom and pop companies, um, they're lacking when it comes to a website. Um, even a basic website, a lot of them are lacking. So um, I would go around and market myself to those people and start picking up clients. Uh, even in the beginning, if you're building up a portfolio, you may have to do some work um, you know, for below rate or cut rate. I'll never tell anybody to work for free because I don't know anybody's uh, circumstances and I'm not really one for doing a bunch of free work, but um, I would definitely... Hey, LB! What's going on, man? Uh, just be careful reasonable expectations at the part of the customer. Yeah, that gets into... Uh, uh, l let me read LB's... Uh... Okay, so LB said... Uh, Great idea on the WordPress route. Just be careful of unreasonable expectations on the part of the customers. This is true. Um, that side kind of gets into your business chops um, and running a freelance business. So um, I've run into that before in working with some small business. I know you have too, LB. Uh, I remember some of the <laughs> some of the stories on the the stuff you worked on for the guy out in. Uh, I think casinos out in Pahrump or something like that. Uh, I remember that story, man, and, and how it was nuts and crazy and, and all types of things. But you do have to manage expectations as far as um, the amount of work that you can get done and what time frame and for what rate. And if you just quote, I'll provide you a website without a better description than that. <laughs> that is just bad. That, that is so true, LB. Uh, yeah, you can't just say I'll build you a website uh, because that's as big as the ocean, you know. And people start pulling out all kinds of ideas, and uh, you're like, "Hold, oh, hold on, that's not uh, necessarily what uh, what you're paying for," you know. So you got to have well well defined terms uh, as far as what the scope of work is going to be, and uh, you know, stick stick with that scope of work. And if uh, the client comes back and starts you know, pulling out extra stuff, you can explain to them that, uh, of course, we can get that stuff done, but that falls outside the original scope of work for the original price. And, uh, you know, we may need to uh, look at what the cost of that will be, uh, both in uh, the time it's going to take to hit the original deadline and, you know, the increased amount of development time um, that it's going to take at whatever, however you set up your deal, if it's an hourly deal or if it was per project you'll have to um, amend that project contract in order to make sure you get paid for for the right amount of work so that's that's good stuff man
LB, I, that's funny. I was just thinking about thinking about you not too long ago, LB, um, and, and meet up. So, uh, uh, Terrence had asked me to uh, to do a talk at uh, a, a like intro to Angular talk <clears throat> at the next Angular meetup, and so I think I'm gonna accept that. But it, it's only about nine days away, and I had did a. Uh, a I had prepared a talk before that I was gonna do at the JavaScript meetup before the JavaScript meetup kind of went uh, kaputs. Uh, but that was using you know Angular has changed so much since then their versions and stuff and breaking changes. So I pretty much got to redo it from scratch in about nine days. Uh, so I'll probably either do the whole thing this weekend or something. And, and uh, but anyway, it'll be good to get to get going. Um, but yeah, if I had to go back and do it again and do freelance, I, that would probably be the quickest way for me to get up and going HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and some WordPress and, uh, get up and going from there. Uh, probably the next level from that would be learning one of these frameworks, um, like a Laravel or Ruby on Rails, um, to be able to do more custom backend stuff. You can get a lot done in, in WordPress, uh, surprisingly. I would probably say the next step up from that, actually, before I went to full-on learning another framework, would probably be to get really good at um, PHP, uh, which is what WordPress is built on. And then you can start doing a lot of uh, customizations um, within WordPress itself to be able to get some more advanced stuff done. I would say I'd be able to... Um, write some plugins and stuff like that would probably be, be the next step up. And then if you needed to go like really crazy custom, then you kind of step out of the Word, WordPress uh, world and start getting into some, you know, custom backend frameworks, I would say, like the Ruby on Rails and um, Laravel, which is a PHP framework, et cetera, et cetera, from there and take it off. But to start out with, I think WordPress will help you out um, in getting up and running really quickly so that was it i just wanted to drop a little quick one while that was on my mind uh to make sure i put out uh put out a video i've been thinking about doing i was like working on some stuff and, and i said you know what let me stop right quick and, and take five or ten minutes and just do a quick live and, and drop a little video while that was on my mind and then you know i can do something else drop another video later so good stuff man i'm, I'm glad you stopped by lb how'd you find how'd you find this channel that's crazy. Um, that's good stuff. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but that's it. But I, I'll uh, I'll email you or, or, or chat you up and we can chat, man. Stay in touch. It's good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. And I'll talk to everybody later. Peace.